you guys. I'm back today with a video on two collections that I was really excited to get my hands on. Now, one I've had for a little bit of time, and I should have already done a video on it. So, shame, shame on me. I'm a little bit late on it. And then the other one is fairly new. Now, both of these collections are from a brand that I really, really like, and that's Luxie Beauty. The two collections that I'm talking about are the Halloween Treats collection and the Snow Angel collection. The Snow Angel collection was actually released, I think, on Cyber Monday. And so, I got this um, a few days ago, so I've had that even for a couple of days. But your girl had a lot of stuff that she was trying to cover, so I am just now getting to this. So here's the thing. I have almost all of the colors for the Halloween Treats collection. I have eight of the ten that were released. Now, I can't remember because I was actually kind of sick on the day that it released. I can't remember if two of the shades were already sold out and that's why I didn't do it and then the bundle was sold out as well. But I have the majority of it or if I just wasn't crazy about the other two shades and I was like, eh. But that seems kind of weird to me because with the Snow Angel collection, I'm not like into blues and I just got everything. I was just like, okay, I'm just going to get it. I'm going to swatch it all and we're going to go from there. So a few things I want to talk about are the cost. The cost of each one of these shadows is $3. That is so, so affordable, especially for the quality that you are getting in each of these shadows. I am a huge fan of their formulation. I think they do a really good job. They are probably one of my absolute favorite ones when it comes to their duochromatic formulas. Some of these I would say actually transcend into multi-chrome, but it just depends what lighting you are looking at them in. So in any case, I want to swatch these for you guys. I did not record the look that I'm wearing because I don't actually have any matte shades from Luxie. I only have just metallic shades or duochrome shades or multi-chrome shades. So um, in case you guys are curious, I am wearing Sydney Grace matte shadows on my eyes and then the rest of the shades are all the ones that are in these collections. Um, just for a quick rundown of the ones that I used, here are all the shades I have from Luxie Beauty that I've not decluttered because I've actually decluttered my singles collection a lot. Shades that I used on my eyes today were Adorbs, this shade right here. Uh, then we had Honey Pot. Then I also used Twinkle and Starburst. And then I came down here to the new collection and I used Snow Angel. Now, Snow Angel actually reminds me, I wish I would have had it in time, reminds me of that first shade in the Blood Money palette that I kept trying to find an actual shade for. And I was like, man, I just decluttered some of those Kristen Lee Cosmetics ones that reminded me of it. I also actually had a few Luxy highlighters that reminded me of it as well. So it's interesting. I wish I would have thought to pull those out. I, I don't even know why I didn't think about it because I still had them, but they were like in another section. You guys, my room is actually like, it's bad. Your girl needs to get some cleaning and organization done real bad. Like, I'm almost ready to go on the show hoarders. I'm not even kidding. So, in any case, <laughs> these are the shadows, like the second, third, and then the last little row right here are all the new ones from the new collections. So this, this row right here, and then this shade right here are all from the Halloween treats. And this row, going backwards and down, I don't know why that's the way I organize stuff but it kind of is. It's strange. I know. Um, these are all from the Snow Angel collection. So that's what they look like. There's two things I actually want to say about the brand itself. The customer service is top notch. They are phenomenal. They are so friendly. They are so kind. I have nothing but great things to say there. The thing that I am a little concerned about, and I'm not sure if something is going on behind the scenes, is that they have not been posting on their Instagram. So for the last two collections, we have not seen any kind of swatches ahead of time or had any information up until like maybe the day it was launching or like the day before on their Twitter. I thankfully follow their Twitter, otherwise I'd never even known about either one of these collections. I probably would have missed both of them. Uh, so I would have to say I'm just curious if something is going on. I hope everything's okay with them because they are a really great company and I, and I definitely don't want to see them go anywhere. So to start posting content on their IG again, I'd really like to see swatches still even of these ones that I have because they do a really great job with that. In any case, I'm going to swatch these for you now. I'm going to start with the Halloween Treats collection with the shade Joker. Oh, that is an interesting color. Wow. You guys, this is crazy. I need to get another mirror. In the future, I'm going to get a mirror to put underneath these shadows. That way you guys can see what it looks like from multiple different positions. But right now, I'm seeing a blue with a heavy kind of gold glitter to it. But in the pan, when I look at it dead on, I see purple and brown. This is a really interesting shade. I'm wondering if I can turn my arm in any way, shape, or form that will pull that. I promise you guys in the pan it is completely different than what you're seeing right here. So I'm like, darn. Okay, the next shade is called Adorbs. Close for comfort here next to the other shade, but what you guys are seeing is just a plain red, maybe with some gold glitter. When I'm looking at it, I'm seeing like a red to orange to green actually flip in the glitter itself. And it is a really interesting shade. Very pretty. The next shade is called Honey Pot.
and this is more on well, the camera it looks more just plain orange to gold but from my view it's red orange gold and that green flipping shade in the glitter so really pretty shade again interesting the next shade is twinkle And then in the camera, it looks very similar to the shade before it, but it's almost like a mix of both of these two shades in more of a topper kind of formulation. It feels very similar texture-wise to the ones next to it, but it is almost thinner, if that makes sense. Starburst. And this is a shade that has reminded me very much... See, in the camera it changes completely. It reminds me of a shade that's in the new Celestial Divinity from Pat McGrath Mothership palette. And, like, for me, I'm seeing purple and blue and green. And you guys are seeing red and gold. And it is just so gorgeous. And I'm praying that I can get a good enough picture of it. Maybe that you guys can see the other colors. How about that way? Ooh, look. Hopefully you guys can see some of the differentiation in this tiny little mirror. But it, it is, in fact, there, I promise. It is so stunning and different. It's called Sublime. Oh, that's different than I thought it was going to be. Very much different than I thought it was going to be. In fact, this looks like a color in the next collection that I thought it was going to look like. You guys are just seeing, like, a minty green color. And what I'm seeing is, like, a minty green shifting, like, beautiful purple and pink. It is crazy. This next shade is called Gator. And this is a really interesting, well, for me, in the camera, it looks more, it looks kind of like it looks to me. So this looks like a green, brown, almost slightly orangish gold. And you guys are mostly seeing the olive shade of it. Money bags. And I don't see any, like, shift to it so much but maybe maybe a slight shift but it's mostly just a really beautiful green shade lots of texture and definitely adds depth in an eyeshadow these are all the shades i have from the halloween treats collection i really hope i can get a good enough picture from the side of this because the colors i'm seeing from the side are so much different than what you're seeing in the actual camera in the angel collection i'm starting with the shade winter moon And I'm seeing mostly like a blue to a darker blue and like a slightly silvery shade. In the monitor, it kind of looks like you're seeing about the same thing. So there's the good news. Next shade is called Chili. Oh, that's surprising. Um, so you guys are seeing almost like a blue to light kind of blue. And I'm seeing like a bright, vivid purple. Wish I could get that. For me, it's like a bright, vivid purple going to blue. Shade Peppermint. Alright, and you guys are seeing a very blue, kind of shifting silver shade, I think? Maybe silvery pink. And for me, I'm seeing a very green shifting gold shade kind of minty as well. Really interesting color. Like this one a lot. The next shade is called Sugar Plum. And this is exactly my kind of shade. You guys may not be able to tell, but it's a purple shifting kind of silvery gold. It is so pretty. And you guys are just mostly seeing a purpley color. Darn it all. Gingerbread. And for you guys, you're seeing a very interesting shifty shade. You're seeing a pink to kind of yellowy green. And for me, I'm seeing more of a pink to purple and blue. So really interesting shade right there. Next shade is called Lollipop. So this shade looks very pink to kind of gold in the monitor. For me, I'm seeing more of a pink, well, pink to purple. And when I was swatching it, kind of orangish as well. But it looks a little bit different right now. Really interesting color as well. Snow Angel. 
So you, you're seeing kind of like a, a silvery white gold. And for me, I'm seeing that beautiful kind of green highlighting shade. It is very, very pretty. This is the whole collection. Okay, you guys, you've seen all the swatches and I want to talk about these a little bit more with you. So, first things first, I find them to be extremely similar, at least in texture and how they come off on the eye, to Pat McGrath. And that makes them come across very similar to her special shades. That's what I sound like. There are some that are more flaky, and I'm not personally a super big fan of flaky, flaky shadows, just because I don't use glitter glues, and so for me, it's hard to use them to their full potential. And then some of the shades are very emollient, and very smooth and I really enjoy them a lot. The texture is kind of similar to like that Lunar Beauty, Huda Beauty, Lamb Light, Dose of Colors kind of feel. Very soft, very smooth, and then the payoff is really good. So I really enjoyed that formulation. There is also like a topper formulation. Now I don't know if it's actually supposed to be like different than the other ones, but it feels thinner, kind of more like the Charlotte Tilbury one. So but the payoff is also stunning, gorgeous, love it very, very much. So for me, I really enjoyed both of these collections. I really wish I would have gotten whatever the extra shades were that were in the Halloween Treats collection. I'm really sad because I can't even find like the out of stock version on their website to compare it with and see what I'm missing. So I'm not even sure what the other two shades are. So I guess that would be my feedback. I'd like to see things that are out of stock just stay on the website so people can see it. Unless maybe it was a limited thing and they're not going to do it again ever. Typically, I see them restock things that they release for a short period of time, but uh, maybe they won't restock that one. Maybe they can't. Maybe circumstances are different due to COVID, so I'm not exactly sure with that. I do hope to see them more on Instagram. I've missed seeing their swatches and all of their posts, so I really hope everything is going okay with them. But I've got to say, shipping turnaround time was really good, and of course, their response on email was awesome. I love it when a company actually takes the time to answer their customers, any questions, or any things that come up. So anyway, I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below. Maybe tell me what your favorite shade was, because I'm really interested to know. I really hope that you guys will subscribe and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.